My name is Dave Scalina, and this is a brief history and modern use of the hurdy-gurdy. So let's get started. The hurdy-gurdy was first mentioned in the 10th century as the organistrum, which was a church instrument played by a group of two people, usually men. It was popular during the reign of Louis XIV, and in the 20th century, it was made mostly used by folk and street musicians. Their lira organzita is a variety of the hurdy-gurdy with organ pipes and a bellows attached, and the bellows are sometimes controlled by the crank that makes the sound, and sometimes it's a separate uh, thing. And so that's a good reason why crank organs are also called a hurdy-gurdy. And crank organs are also called barrel organs, and those two are generally unrelated. Another similar instrument from the hurdy-gurdy is the nickel harpa, which is from Sweden. And the main difference there is that it uses a bow instead of a wheel to uh, vibrate the strings producing sound. But other than that, they are very similar. They both have uh, melody strings. And so a hurdy-gurdy works by a wheel controlled by a crank which vibrates the strings um and other than that it works like any boat instrument except instead of having a boat it has a wheel of course it usually has six strings with four drone strings called bordens and two melody strings called chanterelles and then there's a set of keys around 24 usually i believe is the uh normal thing to and that has keys and they press down to on the melody strings to create uh, different pitches. Now, a modern use for the hurdy-gurdy is a lot of folk rock bands uh, make use of the instrument in a lot of their pieces. And an example of that is the folk metal band from uh, Sweden, uh, Elvete, which I had to Google how to pronounce. And the folk metal band was founded in 2003, and they often mix like modern guitars and basses with uh, traditional European instruments such as like a hurdy-gurdy or an accordion uh, or bagpipes and they have uh, an overall sound of the metal takes sort of a backseat to traditional folk sounding um, instruments and another band that uses a hurdy-gurdy in their pieces is the alt-rock band uh, Arcade Fire there's multiple different genres of music that they fall into but alt-rock is what I feel it is um, each member of the band can play multiple instruments, and including a hurdy-gurdy, and they use a lot of those in their uh, pieces. And another big representation, I feel, for modern use is in um, pirate music. So for the, um, the show Black Sails, a hurdy-gurdy is extremely prevalent throughout the entire score of the show. And the video game Sea of Thieves, one of to a lesser extent actually than... Uh, uh black sales is so it has a hurdy-gurdy that players can use uh, to play a couple selected melodies and a composer i want to talk about he uses the hurdy-gurdy is bear mccreary who specifically i want to talk about his work on black sales he's the composer for the score of the show and he has a short interview on his youtube channel about his experience with the hurdy-gurdy on the show and while working on it um when he provided uh, samples to the showrunner, uh, John Steinberg. John Steinberg often asked what was producing a lot of these sounds that you hear in the show, and Bear would often say that it's the hurdy-gurdy because it can create a wide variety of sounds to like a low drone, to a high-pitched buzz, and to like so almost a wailing, screeching sound, which I personally think is really cool. And Bear actually plays the instrument himself in the show, and he was quoted with saying he doesn't consider himself a hurdy-gurdy player because it's a very difficult instrument to make sound good, but he didn't need it to sound good. He needed it to sound like pirate music, so very nitty and gritty. And that brings me to the musical example I'd like to play, which is the opening theme from Black Sails. <laughs>
so like I said, the hurdy gurdy is a very personal in, instrument. So the very the rhythmic droning you heard at the very beginning was the hurdy gurdy. The wailing of the main melody, aside from the one guitar solo, was also the hurdy gurdy. And then throughout the score and various other pieces from the show, there's a lot of high buzzing that is also made by the hurdy gurdy. And then in a couple pieces, you can hear the clicking of the keys. And that's also the hurdy gurdy. So I think this is a very, very cool and instru interesting instrument that a lot of people don't know about. And I feel that's a shame. But I also really like pirate music. So it's a bit of personal taste. And here are my sources. And that is it.